Hey there, YouTube land. And before I start my video, which is going to be just a little admin onto the Q&A thing, and just the second part, and please keep asking me questions. I will keep doing Q&As for as long as you guys have questions to ask. But first off, my good friend Logan Toxic is doing a Q&A himself, a Q&A video, and I definitely want to hear uh, stuff that Logan Toxic has to say. So ask him lots of cool questions, guys. Go over to his channel if you're not, haven't checked him out, definitely check him out. He's got a lot of great videos if you have checked him out, and you haven't been there for a while, go back, uh, give him some questions, give him some kind of cool ones and some different unique stuff. Check out Logan Toxics and watch for his Q&A video coming up. So uh, be, be a part of that. I'm already trying to think of some uh, interesting questions that aren't of the norm, but uh, I'm working on it. So shout out to Logan Toxic there, who's going to do a great Q&A. He always does. This is great stuff. Uh, Michael Toshi, to, to, I'm, I'm really sorry if I get the, the, wrong, the last name wrong. Michael Toshi, I'm going to go with that. Uh, if you could make a documentary on any subject, what would it be? Well, I actually thought about that. I was, when I was uh, writing professionally, I uh, was going to work towards a documentary. I've been working on uh, doing some actually some nonfiction books as well. Nonfiction novels are something that I'm very very interested. I'm a voracious reader, and uh, you don't get to see that a lot here now. But uh, I read a lot, uh, especially uh, a lot of a lot of nonfiction stuff like that. And uh, I wanted to make a documentary on, uh, there was already one done, and this, it was actually a shoot, it's like two documentaries, so we're going to get a talk about that. I was going to make one on exploitation on basically the whole era of like horror, Canadian horror. And I know there's one done called, they came from within, I think it was called, something like that, and uh, they made a, like a, a uh, documentary about it. But I wanted to like get it further and like get in depth with uh, a lot of movies that I think just got surface covered. And uh, really talk about them, and then I wanted to outbranch that into like, because I really want to work on the slasher part. I'm a big slasher fan, and to make a slasher documentary an epic. And there's been some good slasher documentaries that I've watched, but I think slasher needs genre needs that documentary the same as we've seen with Friday the Thirteenth, with the Crystal Lake Memories, or uh, the uh, Never Sleep Again. It needs one of those epic three or four Blu-ray documentaries with like a ton of features. Uh, with a bunch of people being interviewed. Let's really look into the slasher genre. Let's get to the psyche behind it all. Let's look at all those movies, all the fun stuff. Uh, let's talk about all those little ones that people that they don't talk about or they just kind of skim over. And you're like, what was that? They spent like 10 seconds on that one. I want to know what that is. I wanted to spend a lot of time going through each of those and like going through the years. And that was my big thing. I always wanted to make the slasher documentary. I always wanted to be a documentarian. It was something that was really big for me. When I was doing acting and stuff like that, I always knew that that was something that I think I would actually be good with, but um, who knows? Maybe once sometime down the road. Right now, it's not in the cards. But uh, that is always one of my passions. You know, maybe I'll get a big job and retire in ten or so years and actually do that. So uh, if I do, look for it. Piscani Kid asked me, "Have you ever lived in the U.S.?" My better half has. I have visited the U.S. Uh, when I was younger, so I have don't have a lot of really big memories of the United States. Uh, I remember loving the United States as when I was growing up because, you know, it's the whole media thing. But I'd always been more prone to uh, the Europe area than I was to uh, the U.S. But, uh, again, my better half, who is actually from Morocco, she l went to university in uh, Georgia and she went to university in New York. She actually uh, lived in Central Park West, up in, you know, the big house, house up there. So, uh, she loved it. She loved the... Uh, fast pace of New York. She misses that. She loved the food. Uh, actually, she loved the people. She loved the uh, mentality of New York. And uh, unfortunately, stuff happened that uh, I don't want to get into politics or anything like that, but it became a harder time in New York or in, in the United States at the time. You know, things happened, and as things always do. Uh, but uh, we would love to go and visit the United States again. Would I ever go, would, it, would I want to live in the U.S.? Uh, my good friend, uh, from high school, actually, he lives in the uh, United States. He lives in New Orleans, and he comes and visits like every two or three years. Great guy. Uh, he's a psychiatric evaluator. Uh, amazing at it. I and uh, I'd always love to visit there. I'm not sure if I want to live live there. Like I said, I'm more. Of, I've got a European sensibility. I am Canadian, and there are differences between Canada and the U.S. I mean, I people think you know. I guess well, we're more laid back, and. Uh, People sometimes take it wrong. I think sometimes sometimes people think Canada and they think laid back and they think uh, walked over something like that. Canada is more like the quiet, cool in the room. The uh, the Clint Eastwood that's in the back that's not saying anything and just watching and waiting. 
That's kind of what we do. We kick ass. <laughs> I'm Canadian. I'm going to say that. Um, next up, uh, Felgar 517 asked me, who is a girl who reviewed a Serbian film? Well, that is Just Logical. She did a really great job with that, among other amazing videos. So check her out. Just Logical has a great channel. And if you go back to my uh, Q&A when I was asking for questions there, you'll see that her uh, name there under that. Click on her uh, on that link to her channel. Subscribe to it. She's really good. Leroy Green asked me, uh, if I want to get an older catalog title, um, would you pay $30 for a uh, total burned down Blu-ray on demand? Well, I'm not big on those movies on demand thing. I think it's the wrong way to go with film. I think we need to get movies back out into uh, into stores. We need to get outlets back out there again. We need to get movies. We need to get City Pluses and HMVs and Blockbusters. So we need to get these things back. Even if it's just like Blockbuster shouldn't went under as a uh, company renting. They should have focused their stuff on selling and getting to more of the niche titles and the genre titles and stuff that's making so much money right now. That's why Arrow's coming in right now because they know that places like Scream Factory and Synapse and Severance and stuff like that have done such an amazing job. Uh, would I buy them? Yes, I would if they were, if, if and only if they were actually had features on them that were, that were worth getting. I want to get Alone, Alone in the Dark, the original one with Kim Darby, not because uh, Burn on the Man. I want to get it because there's actual commentary on it. As for, like you mentioned, like Twilight Time, if I rag on Twilight Time a lot, and I do. And not because I don't like Twilight Time. I actually listen to a few of the podcasts with the uh, guy that uh, runs Twilight Time, and he runs it with the kind of a uh, a music sensibility to it. And I really, I kind of get it now a little bit more, and I really do like what Twilight Time is doing. I just don't like when uh, people take advantage of uh, Twilight Time's, like, the way the way that they do it, with the limited amount they can have. And I understand that there's a, the, the, you get a lot of money, and there's a lot of uh, stuff that goes into this. So, but I don't like when people uh, scalp movies out on uh, on the internet. I it, I get disgusted when I go on eBay and I see something like uh, the Fright Night one or like some one of the other ones that's with limited edition, like being a uh, trade for like a hundred, hundred fifty, two hundred dollars on there. It's just uh, that disgusts me. David Sheenan asks, "What are my top three releases I'm looking forward to, or however many you like to mention?" Well, there's a few actually, uh, David, that I really like, but uh, I don't think I can narrow it down to three. And there's so many that are being mentioned daily. Uh, right now, I just found out that Dangerously Close is coming out on Blu-ray. That's a canon film from back in the day that never even got a DVD release. Now, at least not here in North America. I'm really excited to see that one. I want to see that movie. It had a great soundtrack. I think it was John Stockwell and uh, J.D. Peck, I think. Excuse me, are two of the people in that movie. Um, what else am I looking forward to? Oh, man, there's so many. Uh, I'm actually... I got the Beyond Steelbook, the Arrow one, and I'm actually kind of digging that idea of the new Beyond one that's coming out with the uh, Cat in the Brain uh, add down for an extra five dollars and from Diabolic TV. That looks pretty cool. That uh, That's one that I'm looking to, looking towards. I'm a big Lucho Fulci fan so uh, no bones about getting his stuff or like double or triple dipping on that. I don't care. I'll get his stuff all day long. So as long as I keep putting new features and giving me new stuff. And that's that full movie extra for 30 bucks that I don't have. So yeah. Uh, also, there's a, there's a lot of stuff. Scream Factory just announced the Howling 2. I really want that. Uh, there's uh, Escape from New York is on my list. I've got to, I've got to get that one. Uh, and there's, as is, oh man, there's so many Mad Max I want. But uh, I could go on and on and on. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, Scream Factory, Arrow, Criterions, Don't Look Now. So that, there's a lot of stuff on, on my list right now. Uh, hope that answers it a little bit. But uh, I could go on forever. <sighs> Okay, this is the last couple of questions. I'm not sure if it's serious questions or not, but it will, will, I'm gonna, I said I was gonna answer any questions, I'm gonna answer any question. Mr. Square asked me, why do you talk for so long? Because I have a big mouth. <laughs> because I like to talk. And uh, I hope that the stuff I talk about interests you and you kind of get into it and maybe you'll hear something that you didn't know about before, that you do know about now, and we're gonna, and it'll catch you and get you impassioned about something else. That's why I talk, uh, because I try to get everything in. And I'm always, my mind's running at a, a million miles a minute. That's why I think it goes. And what time's it in my area? Well, right now it's 124, and I'm about to do another video after this. So right now this video's over. I'm going to get some tea, because it's really time for tea. And i got to get a down another bottle of water before I uh, go to bed as well to uh, keep the system going good. I'm good on the 7th, my mom's birthday. So uh, if you want to say happy birthday to my mom down there, feel free to do so. I am going to go make my tea, grab some water. I got some elliptical work to do while I'm waiting for this thing to upload. So uh, have a great night. I've been you now seven or eight days on with completely non-processed food, just all 
all actual like organic food and meat and stuff like that, uh, my chicken and my uh, vegetables and all that. The giant lobster head above says, hello, I'm uh, getting ready to make a little collection video for you there and yes, uh, Parsnip, the beast collection will be involved. Thanks for watching, have a great night, hope you watch the next video. The collection videos are taking a lot of work to do, but I'm doing it for you guys because I know this is what you guys have been asking for. So. For me right now, it's time for tea, and for you, it's time to wait for the next video to come up, right? Keep asking the questions, I love them. And Logan Toxic, check it out, ask them questions.